My name is Chuck Thompson. I'm a caregiver for my wife, Barbara. I also had a mother who died from pH that I was a caregiver for, and a sister who died from pulmonary hypertension back in 1992. Well, being a caregiver, we started a support group back in 2004. My wife was not supposed to be gonna make it through 2003. And we got her on tray clear. And about the time she got where she could walk and talk, she wanted to start a support group. And so we did. And officially, I haven't been a co-leader until just last year. But I have worked a whole lot at the support group meetings. We now have, uh, I think, 41 people that are members of our support group. And we meet once a quarter. It really became important to me when my mother came down in 2003 for my daughter's wedding. And I could tell that my mother had the very same symptoms that my wife had, and they were giving her Coumadin. And I would tell her for the next few months about pulmonary hypertension. And she said uh, she saw her doctor and he finally diagnosed her with pulmonary hypertension and he was giving her Coumadin. And I told her, Mom, that's not a treatment for pulmonary hypertension. And she got so mad at me. Do you think you know more than this doctor who spent all these years in pre I said, Mom, I think I'd know more than that doctor does about this. And so, so many people are in the dark about things. And they need to know so that if they're getting the wrong treatment, they can go and see another doctor. It took my mother for a long time. She finally went to Philadelphia and saw one of the most foremost um, pH doctors, and she got put on Treclear, and a few months later, she was doing a whole lot better. And I, I, in fact, I went and got her and brought her back to our house. Support group is very helpful to people. You know, a lot of people think that support groups are where you go to just cry about your problems, but a support group for pulmonary hypertension, you learn stuff all the time. We have specialists that come, and, you know, I constantly learn things. Learn things about making sure that you have, as a caregiver, the patient's medication list. Because we just recently had one patient who went to the hospital, and the first thing that the doctors did was take away her pH medicine. She was dead within a couple of days. That's the second person that we've had like that. As a caregiver, you got to have a caregiver who knows your situation, who can say, oh no, this is not gonna happen. And things like uh, emergency medical staff are trained to look on the refrigerator for all this information. These are things that people will learn at a support group that probably they have no idea about. And they won't get any idea about it because the doctors pretty much don't tell them, even the specialists. I've never heard a specialist tell my wife those things, or my mother. When I first learned about it, when my wife was diagnosed with that, um, they said that there were only about 250,000 pH patients. And they also said one in a million people. In Memphis, we have a million people. We have 41 people in the support group. Obviously, what they said back then was not correct. So people need to be aware of what is there so that they can go to the right kind of doctor. My name is Chuck Thompson, and I'm aware that I'm rare.